Well done. Told you it'd be easy. It was so I? not easy. The thing is, it's a really complex car, and so when you want to take one thing out, you've got to take everything else out around it, and it's just quite a challenge to try and get it in the right order. So it's been a hard one. Right. So now you got this far. Uh, what are you going to do? Take the carpets out, and that's well, it. Well, it's over to you now, to be honest. I mean, basically, I've taken the entire interior out, but that means I need an entire replacement interior from you. So you've got to get busy and make it a good one. Well, I've had a chat with a guy called Steve, who reckons he's got a good interior for me to go and have a look at. So I'm on the case. Uh, so if you've stopped working inside, obviously you finished the engine. Now, you would think that, wouldn't you? But there is a rule of thumb with these things. That if you're going to do more than two jobs on the engine, you just drop it out. So it's on the bench, ready to go, but you know, I need a bit more time. Wow. So you take the engine out and yeah. the interior out. Yeah. OK, so the engine is on the bench. Yep. I'm onto the interior. And then at the end, Ed, we'll have a look. It's, it's going to be really good. It's going to be great. Do you know what? We're in the money with this one. Ed might be spent, but we've still not shelled out for any spares yet, so there's still £1,400 available from our five grand kitty. It should be enough to see our Esprit in tip-top nick if Ed can stay sharp. Well, this Esprit is looking very, very sorry for itself, but I've never lost faith in Ed before, and I'm not about to start doing it now. No, the real pressure is on me to deliver the right parts to get this baby roaring back to life. Join us next time to see whether this 80s supercar manages to boom or bust. See you then.